Hey everybody, it's Scott. Welcome back to the one-off shop. Today we are going to... What? We have to do that other video. What video? You know, when you tell everybody who you want to cook for. Do you really think that's a good idea? How else are we going to get the word out and get some attention? They have no interest in me or my channel. Everybody eats. Just do it. Fine. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, I'd like to cook for you. Satisfied? Sure. I'll fix it in post. Can I make my cake now? Yes. Hurry. I'm hungry. Hey everybody, it's Scott. Welcome back to the one-off shop. Today we're going to be making something nice and sweet. We're going to be making a blueberry dump cake. Stick around. This is going to be good. Alright, first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your oven preheating according to the box directions for your cake mix. Go ahead and get you a 9 by 13 pan. Get it lined with some foil. And spray it down real good with some uh, nonstick cooking spray. Alright, go ahead and get your blueberries or whatever uh, fruit flavor uh, pie filling you're using. Go ahead and get that and get it uh, dumped into your pan. Alright, we've got our blueberries spread out in the pan here. We opened up our cake mix. Let's just go ahead and sprinkle this in here and a nice even layer. Now the one thing you got to make sure of when you're doing a dump cake is you don't stir the two ingredients together. But you do want your cake mix to be spread out evenly. So just move the top side of the of the powder here and get it uh, Get it spread out in your pan so it's nice and even. See any clumps? Just smack them a little bit, bust them up. Really easy. Cake mix usually does not stick together. Alright, so we've got our uh, cake mix all spread out here. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our cream cheese. So stick around. Alright, so anybody that's worked with cream cheese knows that it's very difficult to cube it and cut it up. A lot of times you have to stick it in the freezer and that kind of thing. Well, I saw a utensil in my kitchen today, and I thought I'd give it a try and see if it can help me with this cream cheese. Alright, so I've got our cream cheese here. I went ahead and I stuck it in the freezer for about 20-30 minutes, just to stiffen it up some. Alright, so I've laid out a piece of parchment paper here. Let's go ahead and get our, uh, get our cream cheese out. Alright, that came out pretty good. Uh, what I did was I took some scissors and I trimmed the ends off of the uh, the block and then that seam that runs down the middle all you got to do is open it and it'll open right up all right so I've got my block out here and I've got it on my parchment paper I'm gonna take one of my grids that I normally cook bacon on and I'm gonna take it and see if we can't just squeeze out some cream cheese cubes here here we go Let's go ahead and uh, run us a knife across the bottom of that. See if we can't cut those off. This is my first time trying this. I figured I'd do it with you guys. Let's turn this here. Maybe you guys can see better. And we'll just take and run our knife right across here, just like this. And we got tons of little cream cheese cubes. That worked out pretty good. All right, I'm going to get these into uh, into the pan here. So let's go ahead and get our cake pan up. So let's go ahead and take your cubes of cream cheese and drop them all around. All right, so we're going to take uh, the little bit of cream cheese that's stuck to the grate. Just scraped it off the paper and we'll just go ahead and uh, make little chunks of it and drop it in here as well. Right in the middle, right on. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and melt you an entire stick of butter, and we're going to pour that all over the top of this. 
Now once you've got your stick of melted butter, and uh, here's a tip, make sure you use real butter. Don't use margarine or uh, oleo, something like that. Too much oil in that. Use real butter. Alright, so once you've got your butter melted, go ahead and give it a splash of vanilla. About a teaspoon or so. And let's go ahead and uh, stir that up a little bit here. What we're going to do is we're going to take our butter, and the first thing you want to do, I found with dump cakes, is you want to start on the outside edge. And make sure you get a nice border. Then just run up and down, just like this. Alright. So now all we got to do is get it in the oven according to the box directions, and uh, when ours comes out, we'll be back. We got our cake out of the oven. Let's go ahead and let it cool for about an hour, and then we'll come back and give it a try. Alright, our cake's all done here. It's looking pretty good. And uh, we'll come back here in just a second, and we'll try it, but first a little housekeeping. I want to give a shout out to all my patrons. Thank you to Blakely, Boston, Brenda, Chloe, Danny, Darren, Dusty, Glenda, Michael, Ricky, and Tammy. I appreciate every single one of you. Alright, let's go ahead and spoon some of this up and we'll give it a try here. Let's come down to one of these corners here. Give us a little scoop. And we'll give it a try. Alright, let's get a little bit of our cake, our cream cheese, and our blueberries here. We'll give it a try. Out of this world. Oh, so creamy. Nice taste in, with the cake. Creamy cream cheese and the sweet of the blueberries and then the butter all through. You can't beat that with a stick. All right. So uh, that's it for this time. Tune in on uh, Saturday. We're going to be doing something with some turkey. We haven't tackled turkey yet, so we'll be doing that. So until next time, keep rifling through the cabinets, keep rummaging through the fridge, and turn those what-ifs into a one-off.